Hey guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob. And what are we doing today, Dot Rob? Well, we are reviewing the Apex Forge rotary powered tool. That's what we're doing. Rotary powered tool. And here it is. Okay, this goes up to 35,000 RPMs, just like the Dremel does. Okay, comes in a kit. Let's zoom out here. Okay, this is the kit here. Comes in that box, comes with... Uh, Flex shaft, whip. Uh, I have had this on this tool already. That's why it's partially disassembled. And a lot of vibration in this thing. So we're not even going to go with that. Okay. We have got, a, uh, I have got a Dremel flex shaft right here. Boop. So we're going to put this on that. Okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, this is kind of, this one's kind of set up like a win. You got this nut and collet right here. And when you put that other cable on it, you tighten up your nut and collet on the cable. We're going to be using the Dremel Flex Shaft, which comes with its own nut. Square nut. This is the inside of this is actually square. That fits right into it. Dremel flex. Oh, we got to take this thing off. Take this collar off here or the original nut. Look, comes with one of these guys too. It's a handle. Goes on there. there it also comes with another, a thinner nut. They just screw on there and then you can rear. Look! <laughs> all right that's enough of that all right so let's go ahead and put our if i can get a hold of it here go ahead and put this on there push your lock button on your machine lock it up all right Take our little wrench here, lock that down, put that in, look at that, screws right on there. You may have to spin the end of this to get everything lined back up again. Like a so, you can see this little, the little uh, fan in there spin. Okay, we're all hooked together here. Okay, so this is a one amp, ten to thirty-five thousand RPM. 3.2 millimeter. It came with this uh, multi chuck here. You can see we have the cuts all clean burr installed. This multi chuck's nice because it'll let you go from your 1 8 inch shafts to your 3 32nd shafts, and it'll probably let you go down to the 1.6, which is uh, the 16th, I think. Okay, so. We got uh, got it on six. Not too bad, eh? Pretty quiet, right? That's up on six. So that's as fast as she goes, right there. One amp. Okay. So that's like, uh, I think the Dremel 3000 is a one amp. 
the Dremel 4000 right here is Dremel 4000 got the flex shaft on it Dremel 4000 is 5000 to 35000 model 4000 120 volt 1.6 amps so this is a half amp bigger than the uh, Apex Forge tool. Okay. And that's what that one sounds like. I don't think there's too much of a difference in sound. Don't think there's too much of a difference in sound there. Nope. All right, and the Apex Forge comes with um, this guard. You can screw right onto the end of it. This will only fit on the mo motor. It will not fit on the uh, flex shaft. So that you can run these little cutoff wheels. Here it comes with this little kit of pieces. See all that good stuff in there? Got some cutoff wheels. In there, you got some right here, some cutoff wheels. If you're going to use these cutoff wheels, it's a good thing to use that shield. Because these little cutoff wheels are known to blow up. Um, we've got a rubber arbor for the sanding the sanding wheel things. Got some stones, got a dressing stone, got a buffing wheel, got an extra pair of uh Brushes for it. Got the uh, wire wheel of death. Watch out for these wire wheels, guys. They really, they really fling the little metal thingies out. So you're going to want to make sure that you got this guard on if you're using that wire wheel of death. You got some drill bits and some, uh, looks like got a couple cutters in there, some diamonds, a couple arbors, another collet. Okay, uh, I think that multicolor is going to be awesome. And then you've got a little, a little uh, router base. Just there again that screws onto your motor, and you can adjust this base up and down. So you got got some numbers right there. Can adjust the base up and down. Okay, so that's the overview of the kit. Let's set up, uh, get some wood and carve something. See how much power this baby's got. All right, all right, all right, Spike. All right. I think uh, our buddy Jordy Johnson is got one of these uh, kits on the way to him. We'll find out what she's made up when old Heavy Hands gets a hold of it. You have a 30-day money-back guarantee within the first 30 days of your purchase. You're allowed to return your product for a full refund. 30 days to 3 months, they will replace the defective unit due to manufacturer's fault, not if you beat it up, with a new one. You will receive an extra 3 months if you register this. Okay? And we will have the link to these guys down below. Take a screenshot. Okay. So, let's put this box where we put all of our boxes. Get that out of our way. Let me dig up a piece of wood and we will carve something. All right, we have this here piece of cedar. It's not the best piece of cedar. It's got a big old knot in it right there. How do you do? Okay. Um, I was just goofing around with a face. Let's go ahead and carve this side. 
See what it does. I'm going to turn on the noisemakers. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it seems to be cutting pretty good.
Okay, that was a piece of uh, hard, honking hard cedar there. It's pretty hard for some reason. And we had that on six. Okay. So, we'll use the same burr. And we will take the Dremel. We'll put the same burr in here. The only difference between these two tools is that uh, that one has the multi-chuck on it. This one has a regular collet chuck on it. That's the only difference between them. Okay, so hmm, 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 hmm. Gotta get my cord out of the way here. All right, let's fire up the Dremel. We need that dust collector on, eh? Smells like pencils in here. So, I would say they're pretty uh, comfortable to each other uh, as far as power goes. <laughs> so, what else can I say? You get the kit with the flex shaft, all in one be all in one deal. This is cedar. It's it's a Seems to be pretty doggone hard cedar, but uh, you seen the you seen the Dremel, and you seen the uh, Apex rotary. I showed you that I use the same burr, everything. So yeah, go ahead and check out the links and descriptions below. And uh, if you want one, get one. We will be using. I will be solely using the uh, Apex Forge. For the next uh, couple weeks to see how good it holds up. And I will give you a review update as it rolls along. All right? All right. We'll catch you later. Stay awesome. Stay safe. Just carve. All right? All right. Bye-bye.